citizens of a number of residential areas and neighborhoods in Lahj Gavnrait suffer from tough water shortage crisis. The following report has more details. Over the seven challenging years, children and women struggle in Lahash Gavnrait in search of water in order not to die of thirst. A scarcity of water crisis haunts the residents of Al Baitara village, plus other crises they have been living. Men, women, and children spend most of their time searching for water to drink and bringing it to their distant homes. Suffering overwhelms Rita Salem as poverty suffocates her weakness, and she says that it has been a year of unprecedented hunger, and the lack of water still continues, just like aid, while she is forced to take her children and stand in lines in front of water tanks that was established by the people in charge in the area. Every day we struggle to fetch water so that we and our children do not die of thirst. I can't bear carrying the gallons of water because my arm hurts, so I get the kids to help me fill the water containers. Water was available years ago and it reached homes continuously before the water pumping tanks function got deteriorated and this crisis was exacerbated due to the high prices of water transport trucks. We suffer from water scarcity and we only have water containers, all of which have holes. My husband is sick and we need water. I'm the one who goes to get it. We are displaced here and we suffer from water scarcity. When we need water, we wait for an hour until our turn comes. I appeal to the officials to find a solution to this problem, especially Ramadan is approaching. The problem depends on the response from the authorities' side to the family's call to provide water in the area amid the people's demand for humanitarian institutions and organizations to pay attention to this aspect of the tragedy. Sometimes water is available and sometimes not. Sometimes we fill one or two containers, and if there's sufficient amount of water, we fill our containers for two weeks, even if it's not clean. Water is available underground, and unfortunately, the competent authorities in the Ministry of Water haven't established a project to pump water to deliver to the houses for many years. There was a water pumping project, but it was not maintained to function. The village now needs water, and I appeal through your TV channel to officials, organizations, and local authority to build at least a large water tank for the benefit of the villagers. Al Baitara village stands on the edge of complete collapse. Many people here are stranded due to the suffering of the lack of water, gas and electricity, hoping to obtain basic services, perhaps to relieve their burdens.